everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you what supplies I'm going to be using for Inktober this year. The challenge I'm doing is called Birtober and I will leave a link to the video for that that I did last week in the iCard section here. Let's go through this and then do some swatching as well. So last year I made this journal and it's it's a zigzag journal and it is made out of um, watercolor paper. I used Winsor & Newton ink for all the inking. I will leave a, a link to the playlist where you can find all the videos on this one in the art card section as well. And then at the very end of October, I picked 10 images, I think it's 10, that I colored with ink tens pencils by Derwent. So let's put this one aside. This year, I'm using my sketchbook and watercolor paper. Now this watercolor paper can be bought at a shop called Riot here in Australia and they sell art supplies. However, their stores here in Western Australia are mostly closing in, but I still have some left and I want to use uh, this paper with the inks. And then once I've done my drawing on here or painting on here, I will stick it in my sketchbook. So I have made my Bertober page here and then for every day I've um, written out what I need to make for that. And on the left hand side I will do my sketches and on the right hand side I will do my watercolor paper with the ink drawing like, like this page. So Without further ado, let's get into the swatching or exploring the art supplies first. So it's Dr. P.H. Martin's set and it is the Tech Drawing Ink set. Now this set did not come with black, so for that I bought this Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Waterproof India Ink in matte. So this will dry matte, which I am very intrigued to see. This palette comes with little wells where you can drop your ink in. So let me get set up and I'll be back with you um, when I'm all ready to go for the swatching of these inks. What I've done is I've prepared two sheets. It's basically one A5 sheet cut in half, taped off with washi tape. And this will be my swatch sheet. And this will be my um, sheet that I will use um, after this one, where I will try and mix colors on the paper. I'll be using this palette for the inks. This is the color Gold Ochre. This is just a slightly damp brush. Antelope. Daffodil. Orange. Scarlet, Rose, Rhodamine, Turquoise, Indigo, Olive, Spruce, and April Green. I absolutely love the vibrancy of these colors and the way they spread as well. They are so much like watercolors except for when they dry they are permanent but i absolutely love this set I, and i went with this tech drawing set because it has three greens instead of one of, or two and i love my greens especially these two i absolutely love these ones and that would be my favorite color in the whole wide world ever so um, i'm gonna let this dry and come back to you and then we can peel off the tape
Well, I am in love with these swatches and I will put this in my, um, my sketchbook and I put the names underneath them as well, just so I can refer to them in the future. I want to know how these colors react with each other. So let's do some, um, let's have some fun with some color mixing and gradients on this little piece of paper here. And I'm going to use the wet in wet technique. So. What I'm gonna do is gonna wet a strip. And let's just go with the, uh, I think this is the rose. Going into the turquoise or turquoise or however you pronounce it, you know what I mean. Going into the spruce. This is so vibrant. Let's move on to the next one. Which I will pick for the, I think this is the yellow. Daffodil, daffodil. Going into the Rhodamine. Save that blue a little bit here. Spread it a little bit more. There's, I, I use a lot of water, so it's warping a tiny little bit. Now, for the next one, let's use some golden ochre. And let's mix that with some of the olive. Beautiful. This is Scarlet, which is still pretty orange to me. I suppose it has a, an orangey red tinge. And let's mix in some indigo. And as you can see, it does produce some kind of purple, which I really don't mind this, like this color purple at all. Lastly, let's do some of this one, which is a turquoise. I just love how ink and watercolor spreads on wet paper. It's just so fascinating to watch. And let's mix that in with the April green. I really like how these colors mix together. You can, there's, there's so many options and, and colors that you can create with this set. Beautiful. Now I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll be back to you with the final results. There we go. 
we have like mini sunsets they're they're amazing and i especially like this scarlet with the um i think it was indigo that i used absolutely stunning these colors together because it's not quite orange and it's not quite red but yeah i am absolutely in love with all these colors so here you've got the dry uh the wet on dry and then fading into wet technique and this is the all wet in wet so okay i just stuck these swatches in my journal and then i was like oh i didn't use this black star thing um so eh. come on open let's uh let's test this out as well shall we a little bit on my palette so this should dry up matte It is really nice black ink, by the way. So let's try it over one of the color swatches. And this is waterproof as well, so all the inks are waterproof, so you can easily go over them with another color if you want to layer your colors. So here we go. This is the matte ink, and there's absolutely no shine. I love it. So if you compare that to one of my drawings from last year, let's have a look, where there's a lot of black. Look here with the wolf. Can you see that it's shiny? It is reflective. So this is absolutely not, and I absolutely love the coverage. So I thought, why not make a little piece with these inks before I dive into Inktober. So if you have been part of my main channel for a while, you know that I used to do these potion bottles and eventually they will show up in my shop again, in my Etsy shop. But for now, I'm just trying to make a few more of them so I can have a whole range. So this one will be a pumpkin potion bottle and obviously it will be orange. So um, let's get going. I will speed this up for you so you can just chill, enjoy the music and watch me paint.
so yeah there you go there's my review and um i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and i hope to see you all for my final inktober birdtober creation on my other channel and um thanks so much for watching stay safe and i'll see you all in the next one bye Thank you.